Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 12 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how to create outlines on your text and why you need to create outlines. Now, I want to get you to picture something real quick. If you're doing a print layout design and you go on the internet and you find a really cool font, you know, maybe it's a free font or it's one that you purchase, nine times out of 10 or even 10 times out of 10, that person, that printer, or other designer you're gonna be sending your artwork to is not gonna have that font. So you either need to send them that font or you need to create outlines. Now, whenever you're sending anything for print, it's just a rule of thumb. You need to create your outlines on this because if you don't, there is a chance that even though you sent a print-ready PDF to a printer, there could be an issue with that font when it's ripping and then it'll turn to a default font and say, you know, the client never asked for a physical proof and, and you, they just trusted that your file was going to go through smooth and it didn't, you know, you're going to be in a, in a lot of crap. So creating outlines is, uh, like I said, it's something to prepare your files for print. But like I said, if you don't do this the correct way or you don't do it at all and something happens, you're going to be in trouble with your client and you know, you're gonna lose time too. Say it doesn't get printed, but now it, it delays the printing, you know, two days or so. And this person had an event. You know, you don't wanna look unprofessional like that. So this video is gonna show you what to do so this never ever happens to you again. Now, if you look on the screen right now, you're gonna notice that this is a postcard that I designed for a client of mine, all right? Um, it has a bunch of different fonts and a bunch of different text areas. Excuse me, there were two fonts, not a bunch of different fonts, but if I select all, all right, command A, you're going to notice that it's going to be anything that has an underline under it means that it's actually, it's still actual text. The computer is reading this if I click it as a font. That's Trajan Pro or however, Trajan Pro, however you pronounce it. All right, same thing with this, same thing with this. All right, you're going to notice that when I click on the logo, it's a little bit different. If we zoom into here, you're going to notice that these are all, there's all, there's all, excuse me, points that you can manipulate on here. And that's because this text is already created in outlines. Once you create your, your, you turn your text to outlines, you basically create shapes. All right. And the computer doesn't read fonts anymore. It's a, it doesn't see any fonts in your document. It just, just sees shapes. So just like I would make a square right here and fill it with you know red or whatever that's what it's going to view your type as it's going to view it as shapes at that point now if you do not and i just want to show you something real quick because i was just messing around with this you may have noticed at one point you open a file that maybe you worked out on one station then you brought it to another station and then you get a message like this all right it's going to say missing fonts Adobe Typekit. See, now Typekit is more newer with the Creative Cloud. So if you're using an older version, you'll still see a missing fonts thing come up, you know, right smack in the middle of the of the uh, the page. And you can either fix that issue or what's going to happen is you're going to jump into your document and it's going to go to a different font or maybe even a default font. So if you had some, you know, nice big bulky font, which I did in this one, kind of like an impact, you know, just one I found on the internet, internet real quick, it changed it back to this. And if, you know, if I just kept going along with this, I, you know, if I wasn't the original designer, I would think this is the correct font. How would I know? So we're gonna jump back into our other document right here. And what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna select everything, make sure everything is unlocked. So go to object, unlock all, just like I did in an earlier video in the series. And you wanna come up to type, create outlines, or you see the keyboard command shortcut right there, shift command O. Now, if you're on a PC, you're gonna to wanna to hit shift control O. And you're gonna see everything, watch if I hit, I hit command Z to back up, Everything was there. I'm gonna go forward again, boom. Everything is all in outlines. Now, like I said, it's not reading it as text anymore. And now this is the point where you can save your PDF and send it off to the printer. Now, here's a huge important 
thing right here. Make sure you do not save this document, this Adobe Illustrator document, after you create outlines. Because what's going to happen is, the next time you open this, you will have all outline text and you will never be able to get back to where it was unless you retype everything out all over again. And you definitely do not want to go through that mess. It's happened to me. I'm not going to lie. It'll happen to everybody at one point when you do, you know, tons of work over, you know, a certain amount of years. So that's it for this tutorial, everybody. I hope you learned something uh, good. If you didn't know about creating outlines before, I'm happy that I was able to, uh, to let you know about this. It's not really a secret, but it's something that, you know, you know, people need to stress more. Uh, hopefully you learn that in school too. But uh, anyway, uh, my name is Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com. Uh, shoot a comment in the uh, comment section below and uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking the uh, subscribe button. And uh, I will see you all for the next video in my series. Have a great night. Peace.